Hey guys, so today I'm here with my review of Internet Explorer 9 Beta. So guys, this has just come out today, and I've had some time to go ahead and test it out, and overall I'm pretty impressed with it. So let me go ahead and just show you guys all what's new and that kind of stuff. Uh, so to begin with, let's take a look at the interface, which is much, much better and uh, a huge step up from, from previous versions of Internet Explorer. So as you can see here, they use a lot of Aero Glass, which I love Aero Glass. It's one of my favorite things in Windows 7, so I'm really glad that they brought a lot over. I mean, you can see here the tabs use it. Uh, pretty much the entire interface uses it, which is really, really cool. Um, now, as you see here, they actually they've changed it up quite a bit where the tab bar and the address bar are now kind of pushed together. Um, at first, I really wasn't liking that. I thought it was kind of, um, you know, obviously you can only fit so many tabs when you're sh having to share the space. However, the more I use it, I think it's actually a pretty nice feature. Um, and of course, the wider your, the bigger your monitor is, the better it's going to be. But uh, in general, I didn't really think it was a big deal. You can, on my monitor, I can fit four tabs. And of course, you can go ahead and fit more and they just shrink a little bit. So not a big deal at all. Um, now, if you actually want to come up here, the uh, now there's no more search bar. Now it's all it's kind of like on the Chrome Omni bar, where basically you can type in URLs. And you can also go ahead and type in searches, and it all works from the same window. So definitely pretty cool. Um, so it works pretty well. Um, now I do want to mention it is, of course, a beta. Um, so there are a few issues. Like actually, you take a look here. Um, YouTube videos, for example, a lot of the text is whited out. Um, I'm, I, I think that probably has more to do with Flash Player. But uh, yeah, so there are a few bugs and glitches here and there. But overall, it's not too bad. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at performance, which is a big deal, obviously. Um, now, Internet Explorer, not, or Internet Explorer in general, has always been pretty pretty slow as far as performance. I mean, you know, last few. I mean, I haven't. I, the Internet Explorer eight was slower than pretty much anything else by a huge amount, especially when you compare it to something like Chrome. However, Internet Explorer nine it does a really good job of catching up. Um, so now I will start by saying I haven't done all my tests, so I, I usually do a lot of in-depth testing. I haven't really had the time to do that yet. But for my shorter preliminary tests, um, Internet Explorer 9 seems to be pretty much on par with Firefox. Um, now it's still a little bit slower than Chrome and Opera, but not by a huge amount, and it's still really pretty fast in day-to-day -day usage. Um, in addition, Internet Explorer 9 also finally does support HTML5. So, as you can see here, it doesn't score that well. It's only got 96 out of 300, whereas Chrome, on, uh, for example, scores above 200. However, since they're just starting out, I, I, know, I, I can kind of forgive that. They are finally getting it set up, getting a lot of stuff you know, working as far as HTML5, so it's definitely good news. And it also does support GPU acceleration, so for certain things, actually, we'll go ahead and tap into your GPU on your computer to basically make text look better, um, games run better, all kinds of stuff like that, so that's definitely good news. Um, now, there are a lot of features, and I don't have time, I mean, I could spend quite a bit of time to go ahead and talk through all of them, um, so, but one of my favorite ones is the fact that now uh, all the tabs run as separate processes, just like in Chrome. So, for what this means is, let's say you're watching YouTube, and Flash crashes, so, you know, the whole, normally, that would go ahead and crash your entire browser. Well, however, now, it would just go ahead and kill that single tab, and you can restart it, and everything else stays the same. Um, and another way where this kind of shows is that you can go ahead and pick up and tear off tabs. So I can go ahead and obviously move them around, but I can go ahead and pick them up, tear them off, and create a new window right here. Or I can go ahead and pick, take, take this tab and drop it down in Windows 7, drop it onto the taskbar. So now, as you can see here, it actually creates a, it's very similar to like on Chrome, a application shortcut. So I can go ahead and just click on this and we'll, and we'll instantly open up whatever website I want. And actually, continuing along with that, Google's actually not the best example, but um, several websites, including Facebook and Twitter, you actually can go ahead, if you take their site and drop it down, you actually have quite a few options here. So for Facebook or Twitter, you might have new posts, um, check your messages, all kinds of stuff like that, and it's all, all built in. So that's definitely a pretty cool feature and definitely will make this really pretty handy. Um, so guys, that's just about it for my review of uh, Internet Explorer 9. Um, in general, I'm really impressed with it. Now, of course, it could be a little bit faster. Chrome is still a decent bit faster. Um, but to be honest, I'm really impressed with it. I mean, it's still plenty fast for day-to-day -day use. Um, now, I'm not. I'm going to have to live with the interface just a little bit longer. I've only had it for just a little bit. But from my initial impressions, I actually do like it quite a bit. Um, the stability has been pretty good for a beta. Um, there's a lot of cool new features I wasn't able to get onto, such as add-ons. There's a new download manager, all that kind of stuff. But you can go ahead and take a look for yourself.
Anyway, guys, if you're interested, you can go ahead and download it. It is a public beta, so you can go ahead and download it. Um, now, it is only Windows Vista and Windows 7 only. So if you're still on XP, you're not going to be able to get Internet Explorer 9, which is kind of uh, kind of a little bit odd that Microsoft was the first company to quit supporting XP as far as a browser, but hey, not a big deal. So anyway, guys, definitely, if you're interested, take a look and uh, download Internet Explorer 9 and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.